Hey YouTube, Wes here checking in with another episode of the uh, Vinyl Storage Inbox. These are records I've had in storage for the past four years. Um, so I'm starting to forget about what I had in here. Uh, but now that we got the new place, I've actually got, got room to get these unboxed and start getting getting them into the rotation of listening and determining whether they're going to be staying in my collection or not. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're on box number six here. Uh, 93 pieces in this box. I'll try to try to lift this up. Um, yeah, these are 14 inch cubes that I use to store records in and uh, let's go ahead and unbox them and see what we got. All right, here we go. First thing we got, copy of Martin Denny's Quiet Village Classic Lounge music here. Uh, Renaissance at live at Carnegie Hall. Nice little Renaissance album. I sort of remember this. Um, somebody, somebody in the VC showed it and I picked it up and I saw it in the thrift store one day. This is the group Texas, self-titled. I'm guessing, um, and it is still sealed. It was a cutout apparently, so that was a pretty cool find. Be first to first to hear that, uh, first to hear that one. Soundtrack to the movie Out of Africa. Um, here's a cool one. Abba the singles, the first ten years. Um, it's kind of weird. This the, this is a gatefold, but the shrink wrap is split at the top. So I don't know if somebody um, somebody opened this up before or not, or it just broke broke apart. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Live Bullet. Oh, pretty common one there. Uh, here's one, Emerald Web, Lights of the Ivory Plains. This looks like a pretty pretty cool uh, sort of new age kind of thing. That'll be, that'll be fun to dig into and go on a trip with. We got ABBA, The Visitors. Copy of Renaissance's Prologue, Still in Shrink. Uh, don't know this group at all, but Gangsters of Love. Interesting looking group there. Be interesting to check them out. A uh, copy of Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells. And then here it is, the picture disc version of Tubular Bells. I have mentioned this in the past before, uh, but that was pretty a pretty cool thrift store find one day. I found this at the... Uh, Probably the hospice, yeah, hospice thrift store in 2013. I actually put the date on here. In March of 2013, I found this, but that was a cool find. Um, here is a Deutsche Grammophon of Tchaikovsky's uh, Concerto Number no. One. Really cool, uh, very vintage uh, Deutsche Grammophon. Really super thick. Uh, it's not going to show up well here on camera. Uh, but super thick cardboard, like really heavy, you know, heavier than even a even a uh, tip-on kind of cardboard. Just that really beefy that sometimes you would get on old classical records. Uh, very cool. Um, I don't remember the name of this Mandrel record, but uh, Mandrel here. Pretty cool stuff. It's in this PVC sleeve that I'll probably take off as it's yellowed, but it was a, an old library copy of this record. That was a cool find. Here's a cool one. Steve Hackett's Voyage of the Acolyte. A copy of the Rascals C. Synergy with Sequencer. This is a clear copy or not. Being how I paid three dollars, it probably is. Oh, no, no, it's not. Just black vinyl. Uh, but yeah, first pressings of Synergy records are typically on clear vinyl, so they're 
they're more desirable. That's pretty nice. Focus with Focus 3. Let's get that cool lenticular insert on the name there. Chick Corea's My Spanish Heart. Johnny Winner, second winner. Blue Note Live at the Roxy. So a nice uh, live Blue Note compilation here from sometime in the 80s, guessing. 70s or 80s. Van Halen, 1984. Awesome. Soundtrack to the movie Break-In. It's 1984 as well. <laughs> Styx's The Grand Illusion. It's a classic one from them. Uh, the Best of Buffy St. Marie on Vanguard. Nice two LP set there. This is a group called Woods, Bend Beyond. I think I discovered these, this group on um, All Songs Considered and ordered this and some, some new purchases ended up in this, these uh, stored records just because I had, to, I had to put things into storage and occasionally some stuff newer stuff would end up in there and they're not all thrift store finds but this one ended up in there so that's cool to get get this one back out and get it listened to again i uh, remember it's kind of very psychedelic and uh, cool sounding modern rock kind of stuff so glad to get that one out of storage uh, this is daptone gold another sort of newer one which you got a you know lots of uh Daptone artists like you know, of course you got Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, and you got the Budos Band and uh, Antibalus, and uh, but you got some other other lesser known uh, Daptone artists, and it's got that cool foil stamped cover. Yeah, nice compilation. Is this on colored vinyl? No, this is just on black vinyl. Uh, yeah, it's a cool one. Glad to have that one out again. Um, an Angel record still sealed here. This is uh, Bartok, Music for Strings and Percussion, and Celesta. Uh, so yeah, just Angel records. It's classical stuff. Um, here's a cool one. You don't see this one too often. The soundtrack to the TV show, or maybe from the movie MASH. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is from the movie Mash. That's a pretty cool one. Oh, here's one I remember finding and really enjoyed uh, finding this Rush Archives, which is the first three LPs, self-titled "Fly by Night" and "Circle of Steel." Copy of Drama by Yes. Uh, Julian Lennon's Secret Value of Dreaming. Rush's Power Windows. Uh, Jean Luc Ponty, Upon the Wings of Music. Jean-Luc Ponty, Imaginary Voyage. <laughs> Jackson Brown, and I don't... I'm never very, very certain whether this is Lives in the Balance or Lives in the Balance. It might be a double entendre kind of thing. Uh, but... Got that. Blue Oyster Cult, Agents of Fortune. Of course, this one has Don't Fear the Reaper on it. David Byrne, The Catherine Wheel. Uh, Graham Nash and David Crosby. Mogwai's a, wrench a wrenched, wrenched Viral Lore. 
this was their record store day release uh, from 2013 maybe 20 2010 no I don't remember what year this was from 2012 Oh uh, yeah, 2LP Record Store Day uh, remix album that they did. Really cool. The Fix Phantoms, still sealed. Uh, Ray Charles' Friendship, a bunch of duets he did with a bunch of different people. Uh, that one's sealed as well. Here's a cool one. Stetsasonic in Phil Gear. hip-hop stuff, uh, the soundtrack to the movie Crush Groove, classic, 12-inch single to the Jodeci song Freakin' You, from their, sh their album The Show, The After Party, The Hotel, uh, which was one of my favorite R&B albums from the 90s, love that album. Um, this is the sleeve, I believe, is Warren uh, Warren G. This DJ, but I think inside is the actual LP. Uh, yeah, regulate G Funk era. Um, I do have a reissue of this album. Uh, the original is very, very expensive, or at least uh, before it was reissued, it was very, very expensive. So um, even though this is sort of a mismatch, kind of a mismatch, it's n it was something I was glad to find and I'm still glad to have a, an original pressing of it even though I believe the reissue uh, used the same plates as this one so that was kind of cool here's a nice one I just actually just bought this on CD this past weekend uh, the whole story by Kate Bush very cool uh, Neil Young's reactor nice copy of that Jean-Michel Jarre with a zoo look. The Moody Blues caught live plus five. So three live sides and then a side of uh, sort of extra new, newer kind of tracks. Uh, Bob Dylan, Highway 61 Revisited. So a stereo copy. Uh, I know people are always curious. I don't know what... Uh, 2i, Columbia. MC Hammer's debut album, Let's Get It Started. Or his debut... Debut record label release. Uh, the soundtrack to the movie The Breakfast Club. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival with Chronicle 1. We're just known as Chronicle because they didn't know that they were going to do more probably at this point, but that's the first one. Um, another copy of Sticks the Grand Illusion. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Traffic on the Road. Almost a craft work looking cover, but this is this is traffic. Pretty cool. Uh, the No Nukes concert three LP set. Very cool. Lots of good lots of good artists on here. So that's a that's a neat one. All right. Next up, we have National Lampoon's Lemmings. We've got Robin Williams, the Throbbing Python of Love. That's a Robin Williams' album you don't see, or at least I don't see. Uh, Monty Python's Life of Brian, there's a classic. Neil Young's Harvest. Dolly Parton's Jolene. Also has a I Will Always Love You on it. That's a cool find. Led Zeppelin Presence. Soundtrack to Diamonds Are Forever, James Bond film. And this one 
Shirley Bassey doing Diamonds Are Forever, a title track, which is really cool, one of my favorite uh, title tracks to a James Bond film. Uh, here's a copy of T. Roth and another pretty face, uh, a YouTuber, very early, one of the early stars of YouTube, uh, goes by the name Zipster. He did this sort of uh, glam rock kind of thing in the 70s. He had a group. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of worried about him. I haven't seen him. I know he had cancer at one point a couple years ago, went through the treatments, and haven't really seen him since since he sort of completed his treatment, so I'm kind of worried, but yeah, that was a, that was definitely a special find for me, just, you know, watching him for many, many years here on YouTube, and that's his group, T. Roth and Another Pretty Face. Uh, ABC's How to Be a Zillionaire, Berlin, Count Three and Party, Tears for Fears, The Hurting, that's a really good one, that one, and I paid I paid seven dollars for this in 2013, and it, yeah, it's probably more expensive nowadays, but definitely a cool one. Um, and Jean Michel Jarre, Le Concerts in Chine. Guess some Chinese concerts. Last couple of stacks here, and we'll get done with this. Uh, copy of Herbie Hancock's Headhunters. Duran Duran's Notorious. Uh, Bismarcky, the Diabolical Bismarcky. That's a classic. Oh, I, for I forgot I had this. <laughs> Britney Spears, Oops, I Did It Again. 12 inch single. Britney Spears, Stronger, 12-inch single, Pet Shop Boys with Please, this one has West End Girls, uh, Love Comes Quickly, and Opportunities, really cool, Rod Stewart, Gasoline Alley, Poison, Open Up and Say Ah, the band cover, don't see that one anymore. This is Peter Gabriel, a German album. I don't know. This is different than the, the normal melt thing, I think. Well, that's an oddball. I have to, I have to research that one. Styx Kilroy was here. Mr. Roboto, of course. Billy Idol, Vital Idol. Uh, Rod Stewart and the Faces. Compilation on Springboard here, still sealed. Cat Stevens, Is It So? Asleep at the Wheel, Served Live. Uh, steel Band music here, The Clayhouse Inn presents The Real Thing Steel Band. Uh, Rossington Collins Band, This Is The Way. And the last little stack here, and I'll let you get out of here. Get the Ink Spots Greatest Hits. Um, yeah, this is on red vinyl. That's why I got that. Crown Records. Um, Bing Crosby, Merry Christmas. Decca pressing of this. Anthony Newley and All My Solitude. Uh, West Montgomery Road Songs. Mary Travers, Morning Glory. Cheap Trick at Budokan. Elton John's Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. And lastly, Michael Hedges' Breakfast in the Field. So that wraps up box number six. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you're having a great day, a great night. Stay tuned for more of these unboxings, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.